Hello there folks and welcome back to part 22 of season 2 of our Snooker 19 Pro career with Neil Robertson and today is time for the quarter final of the Daffabet Masters against Mark Allen. A really exciting match, a repeat of last year's final which unfortunately ended in Mark Allen's favour. He won that by 6 frames to 5 in a best of 11 match and actually... Um, our record against Mark Allen hasn't all, always been that brilliant. We did play him once in the Northern Ireland opening season one and managed to beat him by three frames to two. However, he also knocked us out at the World Championships last year. Um, we lost in a best of 25 by 13 frames to 12. So really took it down to the wire. And as you might notice, for those of you who particularly watch a lot of the series, you might hear I'm not in the best of uh, best of vocal health, I suppose you could say, if, if there even if is a kind of health called vocal health. But it has been a few days since the last episode. I really wanted to do this, so I'm going to battle through the, uh, the the loss of voice, and hopefully this will give me either a, a, a better voice throughout the video, or after the hour or so, or however long we're going to be here, my voice is going to be absolutely knackered, and I won't be able to speak for the next week. But either way, I really wanted to play this quarter final, uh, but I probably just won't be speaking as much throughout the throughout the match, because as you can obviously hear, uh, I have lost my voice a little bit, and uh, if I do sound a little bit monotonal, that is probably why, but hopefully today uh, it is still a good video, and uh, it's been great to see the support of you guys on Snooker 19 recently, uh, particularly the Ronnie, Ronnie episode, which was the, uh, what was it now, yes, it was the Scottish Open quarter final. You guys were uh, really supportive on that video particularly. And if we can get another 10 likes today, that'd be absolutely uh, fantastic. But uh, a decent first break off here from Mark Allen. And uh, we've got a potential pot here, a bit of a half chance. Uh, do we take it on? I think we just leave it for now. I think we just play safe, play Finn onto this red, uh, get it back in the pack and hopefully uh, get back up to the bulk area. Ooh, that red's run quite a bit further than I thought it would do, and this needs to travel quite a bit. I mean, to be honest, if it had been hit any harder, we'd have got the pot, funnily enough. And, he's missed that. and luckily, he can't get to it, so that's always good for us. But he's uh, gone quite thick here, and where's the cue ball going? It is just outside the pocket. Um, but if I uh, get particularly croaky throughout, I might take a break and do a second half at some point. Pardon me, but hopefully we can get through this. Uh, as I've said, my voice is incredibly croaky, uh, but hopefully we should be okay. But uh, no chance here. He's been, I mean, you could say quite fortunate, but I, we could play a plant here. Um, it is a bit of a risky one always, particularly at the start of the frame at this sort of acute angle. Uh, if we just have a look at the red, is it pretty much just straight on the pocket, the one that we're going to try and pot? Yeah, it pretty much is. Um, I think we hit it just to the left-hand side. That's not going to hurt too much. Um, but I think this is worth a go, so let's see how it turns out. And it's there, good pot. What's the position going to be like? Black's out of the way, which uh, is a little bit unfortunate, but we wouldn't have been on it anyway. Uh, pink's the only ball we're really on here, and funnily enough, it's pretty much a straight pot on the pink, so we should be okay for it. This is your first video of mine you're watching. This is I'm not like this all the time, I promise. Uh, it's just that uh, easy one, I can retain nice. my voice if I if I don't speak very much, but I can already... Oh, dear. He's missed the I mean, that was, a, that was a bit of a tricky pink, but uh, silly to miss it at this stage because you know what Mark Allen can do. He can go and win this frame in one visit. Stephen Maguire just wasn't like that, was it, the other day when we played him. But as I was saying, if uh, this is your first video of mine or first video for a long while... Don't worry, I haven't lost my voice permanently. Uh, I've just got a nasty cold, and it seems this is one of the one of the effects of that. But because we had a few weeks off over to Christmas with making content, I just wanted to uh, at least play a frame in this match, if you like. Um, I think probably at the moment it might only be the one frame, because I've already started to struggle. Um, but we'll definitely play through this frame, see how we get on at the start of this match. Uh, but Mark Allen could be in early here, but he's just gone for the safety uh, on the yellow and got this back up to bulk. One. Not the safest of shots, it has to be said. It's a bit of a sniff we play this one down the cushion, potentially. I quite like the idea of this. I think if we give it a go, not hit it too hard. There's not too much risk involved. Let's have a go. It's there, good pop. One. Well, I was going to say, if I didn't say it already, the position was always going to be awkward from this. Um, but the pink is there, luckily, so we can have a go at the pink. Play with some top, trying to get it out of that bulk area, because if you're in that bulk area, there's not really much that we can go for. 
But uh, we finally get the pink potter that we should have really potted earlier. Hopefully this doesn't hit the red and knock it into the middle pocket. I mean, that's about as close as you want. <laughs> that's that's uh, not a bad uh, little tapping, is it? Goodness me. Set up for the yellow, uh, the yellow or the blue. But no, a strange safety shot there from Mark Allen, that has to be said. Got no idea what he was doing particularly. Um, mm, it's a little bit of a tricky one now, isn't it? Unless we try and get this on the cushion, I'm not sure. We'll experiment with this, see how we get on. This goes on the cushion, we can obviously go for the red on the cushion, and it doesn't look too bad. Uh, let's just check there's nothing else that's opened itself up here. That red's a potential as well. The one here that we've just been focusing on. Uh, it's it's too of a, too much of a tight angle to get into the middle pocket. And I don't think it's worth taking the risk to... Uh, although that being said... Um, mm, it's not a bad chance, is it, to get a potential pot. But not the best position. But I think we are going to play for this red here. I think that's a definite potential and much bigger chance than the one that we already had on. Yeah, I think that's about right. Let's play with a bit of top as well, trying to get the position that we need rather than being stuck down there. And that's a good pot, a good decision to go for that. And uh, that was a nice red. I didn't realise just how my, bad my voice was, to be honest. I thought, no, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a go, but... Uh, I mean, as you can probably hear, I, I'm already starting to struggle. So I think we might just play this first frame. Fingers crossed, get 1-0 ahead. Uh, and then potentially leave it a few days. But obviously when this comes out, you guys will know how good or bad I am. Because uh, it'll either come out the next day on Monday. Um, or it might be a week or so yet. But I'm sure if we uh, do leave it today, I'm sure I'll explain. Or vi you'll visibly have to see the difference if it's in a few days' time. But let's get this first frame out of the way first. That red should go now on the cushion. But... Uh, I'm just looking at the black. If we, yeah, the black should be a good chance if we uh, if we pop this red. So we're gonna give it a go. Get to a similar position that the red's in at the moment. At, oh well, that's a little bit of a shame. I think he just hit both jaws. Didn't say that exactly what happened, but uh, not the best start for us here at all. That's a good first pot for Alan. Balls aren't too open at the moment, it has to be said. They're a little bit a little bit awkwardly condensed, particularly with the black um, and the pink off its spot. I mean, I think the pink's pretty much on the black spot, if not exactly on the black spot. But still, when that sort of thing happens in a frame, it does make things a little bit disjointed. The yellow was off its spot, of course, until he's just potted it. So let's have a look if he can make anything serious of this break now. Neither of us have been able to do that so far. That's an awkward angle. Needs to be straighter on that red unless he finds something. Oh, of course, he's got this red. Silly me. Unless he's just playing a safety on it. No, he plays the red and he's potted the cue ball. That is fatal. He's gone in off. Well, that seemed a little bit silly. I'm amazed at that. We are going to play on from here because uh, I think there's a chance at this pot. And even so, we can uh, try and get this back up to bulk if it fails. Strange shot from Mark Allen there. Really close. We just missed the red, but I think we get away with it, do we? I think we do. I'm not sure. We get away with it in one way, that it's on the cushion, but no, we don't get away with it. And uh, Mark Allen has potted it, so we have to go in and off. Potentially, we should have just played a safety shot, but we were a bit greedy there, hoping to get on the right side of luck, and I don't think Mark Allen needs a second invitation here. Pardon me. But a little bit of a longer match. I do like these little longer matches. Of course, I think I mentioned it earlier. Yeah, I would have done the results. Uh, but it is the repeat of last year's final. Hopefully we can beat him this time of like last year. But uh, a bit of a rocky start for both of us. But could Mark Allen start to come into his own here? Let's see. A little bit of a trickier shot than you might imagine that is. But he's done it. And he is really using the pink like it is the black. Played it well. And amazingly, there's only two reds left after this one. It's been one of those frames, hasn't it? Not many consecutive colours potted with uh, reds. But uh, if you get two pinks, the two red, well, it's going to be three pinks, isn't it? So 18 
and then the two reds, it should pretty much all be all over in this frame. Nicely played onto a red. 28. So he's 20 ahead, there's 43 remaining, so there's, there's obviously time for a potential mistake from Mark Allen, but let's see. He should be pretty straight on these balls. Going for the blue here. As long as he lines himself up for the red. That uh, touch on the pink is certainly not going to help anything. And uh, he's just going to have to play safety on the red. Oh, and he nearly pops it again. The cue ball. But this is a massive chance for us. He's got that all wrong. We've got to really go and pot everything from here. But it is a gift, potentially, to pull us back into this first frame. Tricky shot, but let's see how we get on. That's a good pot. Cue ball could do with pulling up. Yes, it does. Nice stuff. Just going to go for the straight pot on this blue. Um, obviously means we can set up for the yellow a lot easier. Because we are going to need the full colour set if we are going to win uh, this first frame in this match. But that is a gift from Mark Allen. I said uh, I didn't think it was all over in this frame. But that was more of a... A faithful comment than anything serious, but Mark Allen really has blown it with that. that but uh, as uh, Neil Fold says there, we have left that a little bit awkward, it has to be said. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to have to deal with it, aren't we? As long as we get the green potted here, we've just got to worry about the next ball, which is the brown. And uh, we are, well, not great on the brown, it has to be said. It might be good just to get a thin touch on this and potentially see if we can get this behind the pink. Could be a master stroke, could be an epic fail, but I don't think if we get this down the table towards the pink, I don't think there's much uh, risk of him being having a, a, a potting attempt. And anyway, let's have a look at how this goes. These look pretty good to me, and uh, we've done, played a very good safety there. Let's see how he reacts to this. He does hit the brown. Does he leave anything on? Yeah, I'd say he does. I think we're going to have a go at this. So it worked. It definitely did. We're uh, 15 behind with 22 remaining. So according to my calculations, we should need all of these colours. Um, just got to make sure we pot the brown here after all that effort. Cause it'd be a real shame to gift him the frame after all that. But that's a nice pot on the brown. This needs to run a little bit more to be comfortable for the blue. That's not too bad at all. I'll take that. Pink and uh, black are not in their normal positions. So this is going to be after a little bit different to what uh, you'd usually play in terms of approach play. But that blue looks pretty much nailed on. The pink should be okay and it is going to come down to the black for the first frame in this match. So lining up for the for the pink, this should be easy enough. Um, I think we're going to struggle for position for this black, whatever we do here. Um, so we're just going to play with some top, not play with too much risk. Make sure we get the pink and then see what we can do. Not ideal, this isn't in any circumstance. We're just going to line this up behind the black. This needs to go well. Mm. Not the best. It's level as we come up to the black. And uh, he's played an interesting safety there, but we are going to take this on. Play it with a bit of power. See how we end up. We certainly don't want to pop the cue ball, so we'll play with some backspin. Is this going to be the win of the first frame? It is great pot, and uh, after Mark Allen had a good break, we have come back a little bit rocky with that black, uh, with that black there, and with the round. But because of that black, it was absolutely level on scores before. With that black, we do win the first frame. Well, after taking some very magic medicine for my vocal cords, we're back. No, really, it's it's a week later. Uh, yeah, I lost my voice. <laughs> We are finally back now, and I think my voice is back to normal condition. My God, I was croaky on that video. But just to remind you, even though it was like five seconds ago for you, even though it was 100-odd hours ago for me, think about how mind-boggling that is. Uh, we obviously won the frame because Mark Allen played a little bit of a silly shot. Couldn't get on the red, the final red that he needed, by the way, to win the frame. He couldn't get that. And then we potted the all the balls left on the table, potted the black, and we won the frame. So we are one nil up in this Daffabet Masters match. And how exciting, because the Masters actually does start tomorrow now. Ooh, very interesting. But, uh, yeah. And Mark Allen hasn't played a very good shot again in the start of this second frame. It's probably the longest break I've had uh, between <laughs> recording stuff for videos. This is uh, probably a week or so. I can't think of anything more. Um, we're going to play the red anyway here. And obviously try and just 
getting that gap. My aim is to hopefully either get it off the cushion for the black um, or line up for the blue, a long pot on the blue. Or else we're just going to be stuck and there's no point taking this pot on. Ooh. Uh, actually, that's worked out quite well. One. Need to turn my uh, TV down. Don't want to hear Folds and Hendon twice. That's actually worked out quite well. It was a little bit uh, softer than I thought. And as soon as it hit the black, I thought, well, that's game over, isn't it? But uh, luckily, it uh, hit quite favourably with the black. And we're going to uh, take the black on. And obviously, just screw back slightly for the red. And that's not a bad start to this second frame at all. But Mark Allen, again, at the start of that frame, played well. But uh, now he just didn't play well enough, did he, at all? Especially to muck up that shot for the red. Nine. That was catastrophic. But we got a chance with the black. Chance to just try and whack it into the red. Let's see how this goes. Black's there. Where's that red going? Where's that red going? Up the table. Oh, it's okay. Oh, thank God for that. But I don't think we can get to it. We can't. So, not the best split in the world. And a little bit unfortunate there. Not to really be on anything. Hmm. We play a swerve on this red? We could. It's a high risk shot. Hmm. Just got to hit it at some pace as well to get there. You know how good or bad I am with swerve shots. It could go really well or it might not. Hmm, this is a tricky one. Got to play with a lot of left-hand side, a little bit of bottom as well. I suppose the only solace is if I'm going to use a Neil Folds phrase is that if we miss this, it only really leaves that red on. Let's give it a go. That's not bad. Well, and it's there. It works. Brilliant. It and we did obviously play with an element of safety there. We uh, went for the pot but played safe, which makes this shot a little bit harder. We either play a tight green there. I mean, any of these shots are going to be fairly tight. Or we just pull it up behind the, the colour. But it seems so silly after taking so much effort in playing that shot to, to do that. But in hindsight... There's not really that much on. But getting in behind a bulk colour, I mean, it's not the hardest snooker to get out of. But it is the one I think we're going to choose. Because I don't think the potential for a break is fantastic here. So I think I'd rather play a safety. That's a little bit over. That's mm, not, that's not worked. That's not worked. A little bit harder than I wanted. I don't know if he can get to this red now. Because of where the brown is. Fair hitting. It's tricky to see from an over uh, over the top view. Let's have a look anyway. He's having a think about it. We'll soon know as soon as it gets down to the table. Yeah, he's got a strike pot on this red. And he's missed it. Is he going to fluke one? No, he's not. But certainly one or two mistakes starting for Mark Allen. And Mark Allen, I mean, he's played some pretty abysmal shots here. And I, don't worry, I've still got this on hard AI. But it seems the AI are really, really cracking under the pressure recently. Which is a good, but yet bad thing to say because it's not giving us much of a challenge, my goodness. Um, but this still isn't isn't an easy shot because of uh, the fact the black won't be on because the red blocks it. Now, we'll apply this to a right muff backspin, get it right, and hopefully it's on the pink. That is a pretty decent shot. Simply wonderful. But, uh, I mean, that attempted snooker in the end, which didn't turn out to be a snooker, has actually turned to be a blessing in disguise. Because it gives us a pretty open table now. And Mark Allen must be cursing. He must be absolutely gutted with that. And that's not the best shot in the world. I think we just get away with it. Can we get to this red? No, we can't. We don't get away with that. It's a bit of a shocker, actually, that is. But luckily, we got this red to go for. I mean, we, we didn't want to hit it that hard. We wanted to get sort of pink side of that red. Certainly more pink than we are anyway. Um, this is a tricky one. Tricky shot here. This is tricky. It's going to jeopardise everything we've just played for. But luckily it's there. Obviously, the position came with that shot because the blue is uh, in the middle of the table quite nicely. And then we'll just go for the red nearest the pink. But this uh, has really turned into a blessing in disguise. We played the safety shot a little bit wrong. There was a... I mean, not the easiest of reds in the world. It was a long pot, but even so, uh, not the hardest red in the world. And uh, Mark Allen completely was off target with it, it has to be said. And he has potentially jeopardised yet another frame for his mistake. So Mark Allen, for the, blue here. the winner of the Masters last Four year, is uh, certainly not living up to his favourite tag. I'm going to try and just bust it into these three reds. Might be a greedy approach. Where's the cue ball? Oh, we get away with it. 
It's not a bad split, but not the best. I mean, in hindsight, should we have played that? Probably not. Uh, but we can get to this red here, so I think that's okay. We don't want to play with uh, topspin so much. Try and avoid that. I think that's pretty not much going to go one, in. It's tricky the middle chance. pockets are to get to, obviously. But uh, we're on target that time. Line ourselves up for the pink now. <clears throat> and we are playing very well so far. And to get a two-frame lead here uh, would be massive. Really would be. Trying to think what position we can play. I suppose we just get behind the where we are and go for the nice simple pot on the red. We don't need to play anything too fancy at the moment. Just keep it where we are and uh, just keep knocking the balls in. Go for another pink. So again, the black's a little bit iffy from there. <clears throat> Sorry. God, I've got a bit of a tickly cough now. It's been a week since I recorded and having all these ailments, all, all these vocal cord ailments. No, not really. It's... Uh, yeah, it was horrible losing my voice. Very weird. Uh, risky shot this could be if we play it onto the cushion. I don't think we need to. We just need to play it like that. That makes more sense. Obviously lighter for the pink, so more chance of that going in. And it looks pretty well designed for a pot. And it drops. And uh, yeah, it lines itself up for the red a little bit better. So good shot all around there. Play this with not too much power. Line it up for the black. And if we just keep knocking these in, keep focus, then it shouldn't be too long until we are 2 nil up. We don't want to get too complacent just yet, do we? I feel like Mark Allen's best is certainly yet to come. He knocked us out of the Masters last year, of course beat us in the final, knocked us out of the World Championships by 13 frames to 12. Just going to make sure this pink goes. Because if it doesn't, we make a little bit of a, of a buffoon of ourselves. We just get to where we... Ah, oh, subtly at the moment. Yeah, there's more than enough room for that to go. It's absolutely fine. This looks relatively easy. Forty-three. Can level up the competitive record as well, of course, if we beat Mark Allen. But that's not really the most important thing. I don't care who we beat, as long as we win in the quarter-final of the Masters. But as I said, we are a long way off that yet. But a two-frame lead, which looks like we should get here, 49. is certainly not the worst way to start. I've not been away for a week. We're not playing too badly. Heard what uh, Hendon said there. Only the red required. And we might as well just go and get some experience. Again, we haven't played for a bit. Get some experience. Knock some balls in. And uh, see where Mark Allen goes in the next frame. I mean, that was a bit poor. That was poor, that was. Try and play this down the table still. Not much to lose. He's aiming for the left corner here. Good pot. That's an excellent pot. Good stuff. Our potting game's definitely there, so we haven't lost any of that. But we'll play the brown and screw back here, just to line ourselves up for the red a little bit better. Try and avoid that bloody pocket. That's what I'm trying to do. Uh, let's see. Tricky one this, because we're going to try. We're going to try and get past the first red, but also not going off. So that's not played with enough power. I think if we applied that at the proper power, we'd have got to uh, the red. I mean, I know this isn't a plan, but I don't really care. We'll, we'll try it anyway. Oh, I mean, it wasn't far off, but uh, with that break of what was it now? Seventy odd. Uh, we win the second frame without any reply. And uh, we're doing well so far. Mark Allen hasn't Super batted back with anything ahead. significant yet. See what he does in the third frame. Thank you. The of course, if you're enjoying, leave a like down below. Comment your thoughts as well and subscribe for regular Snooker 19 content. Of course, the Masters does start uh, tomorrow, so it'd be great to advance in this tournament. That is a very good break-off there from Mark Allen there. Doesn't leave much on at all. Hopefully this isn't played too hard that it hits all the other reds. It does, though. Oh, well, I miscalculated. I played a bit of a Mark Allen shot there. But do we get away with it? I think we do. I think we get away with it. Unless he's going for this one. This would be an impressive pot. It is there. That's an impressive pot. Oh, we nearly got away with it. That was a silly shot. Really was a silly shot. Just miscalculated completely there. And this is a definite opportunity. If you ever, if you ever needed one or wanted one. 
This is a definite opportunity to half the deficit for Mark. He's aiming for the left corner here. <laughs> Not the quality you would expect <laughs> of a player this I was just going to say, I wouldn't hold your breath. Allen, three. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm staggered. Really am with that. That is dreadful. I mean, why play it with the power he did, I have no idea. And it was just a well, dreadful shot. This into the right corner pocket. Well, we're going to, I suppose, try and benefit no from there. our own misfortune now. Goodness me, that was a dreadful shot for Mark Allen. Can't quite believe that. What's happened to the man that we that uh, beat in the Masters well, final last year? Because he's nowhere to be seen at the moment. Beautiful. That's a shocker. Three. That's a real shocker, that is. Hmm. Okay. That's a pain. Pace will be very important with this shot. She wants to get that back up to bulk. Hmm, again, a really poor shot. Need to stop Neil and Robinson. think about these a lot more. Tough shot coming up. But he's potted that. I mean, he played that with some pace. Fair play to him. But this looks to be a scrappy frame. Neither player can really get into it at the moment. One. But I don't feel like Mark Allen needs another invitation here. He's made far too many mistakes. And surely this is going to be the time that he gets a decent break on the board and wins a frame. But we'll have to see. Fourteen. Because that was really poor from us. We should have took the opportunity. I'm not saying we should have won the frame from there. But we should have at least had a good go. 21. Hmm. Uh, now he can go for that one. Right, so I did think where's he going to get the next 22. red from. That's the thing. They're quite tightly compacted, but play good positional shots, and obviously you're in the money. 27. This is the last solid red he can go for that's a comfortable position. After that, he's going to struggle. So he's got to go into the reds, I would say, here. He doesn't. He's gone for the blue, so he's going to go into the reds now, I would say. Unless he just screws back and goes for the red that's a little bit out of the pack. That's what I'd do rather than a dangerous shot. But now he's played that well. Just gone off the pink. It's a nice short-range pot on the red. Although that's a little bit miscalculated because that red is just tapped onto the cushion. But he's doing okay here. He's finding position, and I think he should be all right. Forty-two. Just wants to sink this into the left corner pocket. Black's there. Let's keep it in and around the black, which obviously always helps the player. As I said, I didn't think Mark Allen needed much of a much of a call to go and do it now. Let's see what he does with this black. Just play it straight and then obviously get on a red. But he's broken up the reds. That's a, That's a decent split. 57. But he's just going to play a safety here. What's the permutations? 57. 57 behind, 67 remaining. Interesting. He obviously just didn't think he'd uh, got the ability to make a pot there. Interesting. I think we take a gamble. I think we try and get this one along the cushion. Because the safety is going to be very tricky from here. So I think we just take the gamble. Don't want to play with too much top. Well, See how we get goes. on. Half a chance. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, that's so gutting. Close, that's gutting. Him. And if we'd have just played it a bit harder, we'd have got behind the black. But that's a gift for Mark Allen. Really is. That's a shame. So close to getting the pot and we'd have been back in the frame. It would have been tricky what? to come back. But he's not going to let us have another go now. So that's a real shame. We're very close with that. But the frame's done now, so fair play to Mark. He's brought it back to 2-1. That's a real shame. Because he gave us a chance there. He gave us many chances, which we mucked up, but gave us one final chance. We went for it, and we were just so close. But if it hits both jaws of the pocket, that can be pretty fatal. Wouldn't blame him for trying and boost his confidence here by just getting all these balls potted. After a very good start for us, Mark Allen is back in the game. But shows that Mark Allen still isn't in his best form. Because that was a little bit sloppy from him. But if given the chance, like any professional, he can uh, get a good break. So we've got to make sure, A, we don't give him the chance. And hope B, he gives us a chance before. 
And let's see, we just craft our own chance and play one in the next frame. Because the next frame now, obviously, is massive. We can go even one of going to the semi-final, or Mark Allen can bring it back and it turns to a best of three. Obviously, the first option would be a little bit better. Only the colours remaining. Would be interesting to see who's in the semi-final, though. If we did get there. Again, this is the real disappointment with having no tournament trees in Snooker 19. Because that would really increase the anticipation. Now, well, if we if we beat Mark, for example, we might face Ronnie in the semis or something. I don't that individual player attraction doesn't matter as much anymore because there's so much quality throughout the rankings in Snooker. But it would be nice to know who you were playing next and how the tournament goes and, and tracking the progress of other players as well as yourself. I think that would increase the immersion. But that's something probably for the next Snooker game. For now, we've got what we've got. A very good playing experience. And uh, a very good experience, it seems, Mark Allen's having here. And he's going to finish this off, surely, with a break of 60. To bring it back in half deficit and make it 2-1. Well played to take that break. Thank you, the fourth frame. Neil Robertson to break. So, effectively, it's 1-0 uh, and a best of five, really. That's effectively how it's going at the moment. But uh, let's not get too worried about permutations. Let's try and play a decent break. Don't hit the jaw. Oh, that's fatal. Oh, that's just not what we wanted at all. Didn't it, we didn't hit shot. the jaw. We'd have played a good break off there. The quality that's a bloody annoying, that is. Skills. Yeah, we need, to, we need to get out of this sloppiness pretty quickly. To sink this into the right corner. He's not going to miss it at that pace, surely. No. One. Not on anything, though. He's going to play it behind the black, isn't he? He's played that very well. Mark Allen, one. I don't like getting out of snookers. He needs to be careful of not overhitting this. Here we go. That uh, is not the worst way of getting out of that. That's a really good escape and a great. That result. was good. That was obviously completely misses the chance of what has he played there? I mean, again, he gets away with it. That's jammy. Whew, well, that's jammy. Well, just try and get a thin nick on this. Come off two cushions and hopefully get back to bulk. Oh, that's not hard enough. Oh, luckily we do get the, the shot off, though. Come on. Up the top of the table. Well, the bulk area of the table. That is not bad at all. Brilliantly played. Don't think we've quite got the snooker. No, we haven't, but uh, his options are limited, let's say. No, it doesn't let that doesn't give us a chance on that red. Oh, it's annoyingly, we can't play it thin enough just to get past the black. So we're just gonna have to count our lucky stars here and hope that whatever we do here doesn't leave this red on. The one that's uh, away from the paddle is very close to hitting the the, uh, the black there. Come on, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Hmm. Unlucky. But is he going to take the red on? It's Let's red. see. He does. And he's got it. But I doubt... Can he get to the black from here? He can't get to anything else. No, he can't. He's played a terrible shot again there. Really strange from Mark Allen. Got two reds. Just not played the position, and he's opened up because of that dreadful shot. Really nice positional Body. shot here for the red. What a great Good pot. Shot that, is. that gets us started, opens up a few reds as well. A bit of aggression, that's what we like to see. One. And that is about as beautiful as you could hope for the red. Uh, the red, the blue. He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. Play with uh, some right-hand side there. Great technique. Make sure that we can get on a red. That make it awkward. This is going to be a little bit awkward, though, to be honest. Might be the better shot. Just make sure it does go past the black. Yeah, there's room. Good shot. Always going to be tricky to get on the black, but I just wanted to make sure that we could open up something else, given the chance. And it is going to have to be this yellow on the cushion, but not the worst shot to take on in the world. And again, if we don't pot it, we are fairly safe. 
But we do pot it. That needs to stop. Needs to stop. Nine. I think we're okay. We are. Good, good. I think if we hit this red on the way Ten through, that wouldn't be the worst idea in the world to set us up for a black. We do, and that is a nice shot. A fabulous pot. Not much flexibility with this next shot, however. Ten. If we are to play the black. So I think we're going to play the blue. And just really give it a whack. Give it a whack. Try and get round the table and see where we end up. This will test this it was always going to be a tricky shot. The blue's there. Mm, it's not going to give us much, is it? No. And I think the red that is a potential pot here, half chance, is blocked by the black. I could be wrong. No, it is a, is a half chance. But we can't get to it, so uh, <laughs> that, that, that's the reason why it's uh, not really much of a chance, dearie me. But we've actually not snookered ourselves, but uh, we've snookered ourselves any decent chance. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Dear, 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 dear. Just play up to this red, I think. And hope that it gets tightly in the red so that there's no angle to play any fouls. Because if we do like this wrong, like well, that, not worked out quite as intended there is a shot that can be took, which of course is this yeah, red. Well, That's nice annoying. One. It's always going to be tight, but that is annoying, that is. After two pretty spectacular frames, it's uh, becoming a little bit squeaky bum time all of a sudden. But that is not the best shot either. I mean, you wouldn't think this is a repeat of last year's final, would you? Really getting to both players here. You can get to the red, though. Oh, I didn't think he could. Oh, I didn't think he'd get to the red. I thought he played an absolute stinker, but he could get to the red. Ten. But obviously, there's not much open here, is there, really? Go for this one along the cushion. That's a good shot. Eleven. And then what's he going to play here? Pink open up the reds. Now black. Oh, what 18. reds he opened up there? Maybe the one on the edge. Can he get an angle on that? No. Well, there you go. That's Mark an interesting Allen, shot. 18. Pretty good one by all accounts, to be fair to him. Just play off this red. Get behind the pink. That'll do. Have to be careful Next thing's a little bit tight. Ooh, that's tight. Oof, good. It's me. Nearly potted the cue ball then. Go for a bit of a shot to nothing here, yes, I think. He's taking the pot on. Oh, we hit the reds. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, we nearly really need to get our backside into gear here because we built up a good 2-0 lead. And with that sort of shot, that is just fatal. Mark Allen will be rubbing his hands together. That's a top shot. That was just That's well, yeah. He'll be happy with Very that disappointing. Shot. One. I mean, if we'd have played that at the right pace, we wouldn't have got into the reds, and it'd just been that one red with a left. But a, we played it at the wrong pace. A, we got it wrong altogether, to be honest. And uh, well, that just isn't good enough because Mark Allen is going to be given a chance now and it's going to be go to really a best of three, I would say. Frame is still wide open, but equally all the reds are wide open, so I don't see any comeback from us unless he makes a, a really silly mistake or stupid positional shot. Hmm. Interesting. It's on the red nicely. Some very cagey frames in here. We've got to get to the, the right end of those cagey frames. Or else Mark Allen is going to beat us. We've seen some pretty topsy-turvy games in our career. Uh, we were... What were we? 4-0 down to Mark Williams? Or something like that in... Um, was it this tournament last year? 26. I think it was. If I remember rightly. It was one tournament anyway. We were 4-0 down. And we bought it back to something like 10-5. That's the sort of thing we need to play with. And that's the sort of thing Mark Allen could do here. There's been some very topsy-turvy results. We've got to be on the right, right side of that. We can't let Mark Allen back in. Which, to be fair, is exactly what we've done here. 
We were 2 0 up, could make it 3 0. We've had two opportunities to make it 3 0. And of course, the scoreboard will tell all the stories you need to know. Well, he's playing this. That Mark Allen is probably more than likely now going to make it two each. 42 ahead, 43 remaining on the table. Just the red I don't need to tell you, just this red he needs. Down it goes. And barring snookers, no he's brought it back from 2 0 down to right two each. 38. And all of a sudden, we were talking earlier about, well, we could be the. Whoa. Mark Allen, 40. Hmm. I think we take the red on. I think we take the red, get the black. There's a chance to come back into this potentially here with snookers, but I think we get our priorities Take right first. Get the red, get the black, Absolutely and then top. look for a snooker. Right One. Go on the table. I'm not sure Could have snookered there. ourselves, actually, That's very nearly shot. there. I think we have, you know. I think we have. Oh, bloody hell. Eight. What a plonker. Oh, you burk. He's playing the swerve. Not a bad shot. That might not be a bad shot at all. That might not be a bad Very shot well, at all. Neil Robertson, oh, that's a bit of uh, for funny look. I think he can get to the yellow, though. He can. Oh, he's passing the cue ball! Well... Let's well, he's he gone in off. Well, Marky, Marky, Marky. So, 33 is the gap. 27 remaining. I, hmm, I think this is the problem. Obviously, we could get it in behind the brain, but we snooker ourselves then. Oh, how could we play this? Without potting the red, of course. Uh, the red, the yellow. Um, we're obviously trying to miss this. To get it in, into a snooker. Don't want to hit the green on the way through though, because obviously that would just ruin the shot altogether. So it's fine margins here, but we've got to get a snooker. Uh, it's the risk of it in the green. Well, that was just stupid, wasn't it? I didn't think about that at all. Of course the yellow was going to come firing back. I should have just potted the yellow and waited for a better chance. Because he is... Yeah, he's going to do it here, isn't he? Of course he is. That was just silly. But, well, there you go. We had half a chance to do it, and that was just a silly shot. Should have... I don't know what I was thinking there at all. Should have just potted the yellow and uh, waited for a better chance. 14. Oh, well. Can't know much about it now. It is 2-2. Two -two. We had a glimmer of hope there. But all of a sudden, as I said earlier, Mark Allen now has the chance to potentially go one frame away from getting to the semis. Right. Frame five, then. 1-1, one, one effectively, in the best of five. This is the best of three now. First of two frames. And that is... Uh, a little bit of a strange break off. He very nearly could go in off. Well, that was... I don't know what went wrong there. Admittedly, I didn't watch too much of that. I was... Well, I watched it, but it's tricky to see from the angle sometimes. And that was a pretty abysmal break off, to say the least. This is, tough. This is a tricky shot, though. That's a good opening good pot. Well, One. if you would say to me, do you want an opportunity to win the frame? How would you like it? Uh, this is pretty much the perfect way. Table's open. Got a good opportunity here. Let's take it. I mean, it's not massively open because there are still avenues to open up, but it's a comfortable chance to get it. Certainly an early lead in the frame. Wrong side of the blue, obviously. Which makes things a little bit awkward. Blue was always a certainty, it's just position. Any harder, that would have gone in off, but provides a fairly straight long pot on this red. 
and crucially, roots potentially get to the black. Didn't want to play too much pace, get some backspin on it. As long as the red makes it there, it does. It's a good pot. Brilliant shot. And then gets the black. Left that a little bit more tricky than he would have liked. It is awkward for the black, so we're not going to play the black. We don't want to be playing, as I've just said, we don't want to be playing fancy shots here. Aiming for the centre pocket here. Play it with just... Oh, that's too much. This could make the next shot a little bit awkward, but actually it's okay. 19. No real problem here. This is awkward. <laughs> Every shot we're, I'm really feeling the pressure of here. But I think now is the time to potentially just go into the reds. Nothing massive. Just try and hit it into the reds and hope we get the look of the gods. Look of the snooker gods, John Virgo and Dennis Taylor are all we have now. And I think we're doing okay. We've done okay. Thank you, Den. The snooker gods, Virgo and Taylor. Good pot on the red. Not quite hard enough, really, to get a comfortable position now. Because the blue is going to be a little bit iffy. Could play the pink, but position's just not assured. And at this point in the frame, the one thing you do want is assured position. So... No, it's not really any better, is it? The the yellow compared to the, the blue. Just trying obviously to get this position for the red on the, the cushion. See how we go. This doesn't look too bad. Blue's there, obviously. And uh, the red on the cushion could be a little bit tricky here. It's certainly not a formality. It's position that's a little bit tricky here. Got to play with a lot of power to get some backspin. But I've got... Quite a bit of faith that this should one, go. Half Good part. Very nice. Well Didn't well, play that probably as much power as I wanted to, so we're not on the pink. Not really on anything. Obviously afterwards, I'm just looking at this potentially. See what uh, chance we've got. I think really it's just one of them going all around the table. Hopefully we pop the blue. We do. Let's see if they go on. Split those two reds. Let's see what happens. Have we made a chance on anything? I wouldn't really say so. Unless we look at something and see a sniff. Hmm. Yeah, not the best shot in the world. So I think it's just a case of playing this fin. Get back up to bulk. And hopefully Mark Allen doesn't get a chance. Here. Yeah. Although, look at that. That was just too hard. And he's got a straight one. Oh, dear. Come on, man. Get yourself into gear. Neil Robertson, mm. 37. I mean, they're applauding us. So, this pot. But, I mean, that's not corner. the sort of thing to be applauded because Mark Allen's got a chance here. Six. Hmm. Interesting shot. Excellent pot. Seven. Good pot that was. It's the sort of pot he needs to get started and are we gonna blow a two frame lead? Would you believe it? I mean we already have, but <laughs> are we gonna blow it completely? I mean that that's a strange shot. Um Okay. I don't quite know what he was going for there. I have absolutely no idea. See any problems here? Was he going for a plant or something he saw? One. He just hit the two reds and, well, everything else from there just went a bit crazy, didn't it? Bizarre. Right, let's just get it behind the, behind the green. Right, Not be much more of a of. better shot we could play here. That's the result he was after. Obviously a foul would be yeah, great from here. One. Hits the red, though. And he's done pretty well to get out of that. He's Unless, chance. yes, it's that's not a good easy, chance. A chance I thought just by luck we wouldn't be able to get on that yellow, but we this can. No gimme. Nice and soft. Just prize it in. It's there. We do have a chance now. Although, it has to be said, look at all these reds. 
They're all on the bloody cushion. Gonna have to be. Mm. I mean, however we play this, it's gonna be awkward. There isn't a shot. Maybe the brown probably our best chance. We want to get on the cushion, obviously. Really. For the right corner here. It's worth a go. Get the brown, obviously first. Don't give him a chance. Brown's there. There's the cue ball. That's oh. Careless. <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear. Mark out. I mean, luckily he's not going to take a pot on, but what's going to happen from here? Is he going to get a snooker? He's not. Doesn't exactly leave much on for us, but I have to say, I think we got away with that somewhat. Just try a little nick here. No more than half a chance here. Oh, That's so okay. Close. I can deal with that. There and he didn't get it. So he's not going to pot that from there, you wouldn't have thought. It was just worth a chance. Worth a go. Worth a punt. Just played that thin. Interesting. And, oh, I thought we could get to that red then. Is this red worth a second point? Oh, I would say it is. But not with too much top. Hmm. It's going to go straight into that red, though, isn't it, if we Off miss? Here. Bugger it. Because we knew it would go in. No, I didn't really. Where's the cue ball? Oh, okay. Don't go in off again. That, though, is a good shot. Very good. Opens up a few opportunities, although we're going to have to be very delicate here. Very delicate. This needs to go past the trajectory of the first red. Equally, the blue needs to drop. Come on, that's it. Six. There we go, that's good. The problem, the only problem now, is just going to be those two reds on the cushion. It's the only issue I see. Seven. Go for the pink here, obviously lines up the red a lot, lot nicer. This is an easy. Make sure this goes in, because this is a big opportunity. Good pot That's on the so pink. Easy. Not the oh, ideal position shot. for the red, but we're still okay on it. I think we're going to go for the pink again. Because we'll have a lead of what's that? Oh, hang on. Oh, that's not going to end well. No, it's okay. Um, we'll have a lead of... 40... 45. that right? With the pink. So we need the pink... And then barring snooks will have won the frame. This pink now. But this is a very tricky one. Looks okay. Go on. Yes, it's there. That should mean no way back into this frame for his opponent. So 20. I don't think he'll come back to the table now. You never know, of course. Just a safety on this this red. Yes, it does open it up, but I'm not bothered about that. Puts it on the cushion. Doesn't make an easy pot by any stretch. So we're 45 ahead, 43 man. I think he's going to come back to the table and try something here, obviously. Interesting. So we might as well just try a little bit of a half pot, half chance for a pot on this. And it's there. That's going to stop him coming back to the table now, most certainly. 35 remaining. He's 46 behind, and now it's a lovely black. Really nice pot on the black. Eight. We might as well try a fancy double on the on the red before we pack ourselves up. That was dreadful. But it doesn't matter, because he's not going to come back to the table now. 35 remaining, 46 ahead. And after a KG frame, I think... Want to make, oh, no, 53 behind with 35 remaining. Either way, he was and too far behind, and we've won the frame, and it's 3-2. That was crucial. To win that really was crucial. So this could be the frame that we get into the fi uh, the final. Calm down. 
into the semi-final of the Daffabet Masters or could be the final where Mark Allen falls to decider. Let's see. I'm excited for this frame. Don't want to get too excited. Because <laughs> uh, if we get too excited, we'll play some pretty silly shots. Let's play this fin. It's okay. Back up to bulk. It's been a good match. I've enjoyed this match. More than any for a while. I think it's because of the stakes of it. I've never been this... I haven't been so far in a tournament for a long time. Particularly of a, a tournament of this extent. It's a good shot. That is a good shot. Excellent safety shot. You heard what he said. Hmm. I feel like this red is our only potential escape. He looks like he's trying to get the cue ball tight on the cushion here. Well, at a crucial point in the match, he's we've been interrupted. Into the right but luckily, corner. it was only for a cup of tea, so I can take that. But I've just completely forgot what happened. We played a bad shot, didn't we? <laughs> That's not unusual. And Mark Allen's in here. Hmm. Yeah, cup of tea. I, I can live with that sort of interruption. Well, that's all he's going to go for, a red and a black. That's all that was on, presumably. We have a half chance at this red. I think it's worth a punt. This is a half chance. No, we don't need the black on the way through. That was what I was most bothered about. And no, it. it's okay. That kiss, up well, it was a bit more than a kiss, let's be honest. But that touch on the brown is going to help. It certainly does. And I think the red we've just missed actually blocks the other one. He's going to have a go at this one, though. That's just a, a thin shot, not anything that resembles a potting attempt. But that's bizarre, because he leaves this now this for a potential be... pot. And I feel like this one could be a chance. And it's there. That is a poor shot by Mark Allen. One. Equally, going to be a tricky shot now, but that brown looks pretty tempting. Taking this on. Can this be the start? I don't think it will be because of where the reds are. But could this be the start of a frame winning break? And a match Casual winning break, there. more and more It'll importantly. And the answer to that is, no, probably not. Because <laughs> this red won't go. Okay. At least that gives us a bit more comfort knowing that. That we should be fairly safe here. But where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? Oh, bloody hell. Hmm. I mean, actually, that's not quite a blessing in disguise. I wouldn't say that, but it's better than it could have been if, uh, well, if it didn't hit the jaw. But that's a really poor shot. But does he get away with it? We can swerve this and pot it. Let's try that. Good shot. Needs to pull up, though. It's a good pot, that was. Pull up, pull up, pull up. That's it. Right. Every shot matters now. I mean, it's not even a decider. I can just feel my heart going boom, 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 boom. This blue should be okay. Well, no surprises here with the long pot attempt. Looks okay to me. It's got the legs. It certainly has, and that's the blue. One right. Shot. Next up, this red. Followed most likely by the blue. Need to get bulk side of the blue to obviously avoid the the red. He's attempting to sink this into the left corner pocket. Good pot. Come on, keep coming, keep coming, Good that's it. There. That'll do. A wonderful pot. Obviously take on the blue. Seven. Get the red again. Get the blue. So that's eleven effectively three points. Twelve. And then potentially focus on uh, Getting into the reds. This is going to be a little bit awkward. You can't obviously get bulk side of the blue, can we? Gently does it. Gently does it. Absolutely right. Focus on getting these points, though. Not really the level of control he was after there. Lost the cue ball a little. And then it will just have to be a safety shot. 13. But 11 points even so. More than we had before. 11 points. Well, technically, 
two blues, so that's 14 points. If you'd have gone for blacks, of course, that you can't get. I'm just going to play a ball up to the red here. I don't want to play anything too extravagant. Play the ball up to the red, and I don't think anything's on. Neil Robertson, 18. Determined to win it in this frame, and that is a shame for Mark Allen hitting the brown there, because now he's opened up a red, and I'm going to just go well, for power here. Right reds there, opens up a few more reds. Not the desired effect, because not all the reds have been smashed open, but... Certainly not the worst shot in the world. One. We'll go for the brown here. Can't play with too much screw back, but... Hmm, that's a problem. What's more important? Actually, the pink looks pretty nice. The pink looks like a pretty nice one and would probably lead to a better result. So I think we're going to play that. This is tough. Not too much power. It's a trickier shot, but I think it'd be worth it. It's there. Careless. Hmm. Seven. Maybe not. Maybe not worth it. Well, that is a shame. But all I can say is, if we play this a little bit better than we played the last shot up to bulk. We should be okay. That will do. Go on, stop, stop. Nice, nice. Neil Robertson, seven. Blocks those three reds with the green. I mean, he can get there. I mean, he, he can get there for the pot. He can't, though. Oh, I don't think he'd get there at all. But he could. He went for the pot and missed it. Is that going to be? In fact, I want to make sure that is the pot that loses Mark Allen the game. Oh, whoops. Let's make sure that Mark Allen's knocked out of the Masters because of that. That has to be the mission. One. Get to the black? We can. Good pot. Let's get the red. Eight. Then play for another black following that. Then see where we are then. Never going to turn down 15 points like with the blue. Nine. But a pretty opportunistic shot from Mark Allen. And once again, it's not worked. Yeah, they, they all block each other really here. Which is why I'm going to try and get on the cushion. Play it straight. And get to the red. That's more like it. Gonna be a little bit tight, a little bit awkward. Still okay, I think. Hmm, didn't want the 17. collisions with all the reds, but it's a good shot. Which means this pink's a little bit tricky now, because we've got to play this to the middle pocket. That makes it very tricky. But the sort of shot you've got to pot sometimes. I think that's okay. He's looking at the pot into the left middle. Looks okay. That's it. It's there. Nice pot. As I've said, those are the sort of pots sometimes you just have to play. And sometimes you have to be on the right side of luck sometimes. We were there. And now our job is made not massively easier, but certainly a little bit easier than it was. Hit this red, oh, that won't uh, hurt corner. at least, I don't think. That's it. Good shot. That's a top shot. My shoes well, are the reds there. I think we're on our way, folks. I think we're on our way to the semi final. And to finally beat Mark Allen in a big match. I know we beat him in the. Um, what was it now? We certainly beat him once last year. I did mention it earlier on in the episode, but obviously I've forgotten what that was now. But we lost to him in the Masters. We lost to him in the, in the World Championship. 31. And now. Because of a nice break here, I think. We don't want to speak too soon. But I think we should have the measure of him. That's a little bit of a weak shot, though. But I think we get away with it. That's what we do. 
Don't think there's any way back for Mark Allen now. Scrappy match. Didn't play our best at points, but we have got through it. We've got through it and we progress for the second year running to the semi-final of the Daffabet Masters. Great stuff. We beat Mark Allen for the first time in a long while. Best match of the season so far for us in terms of a result. Show we can mix it with the big boys still. We've been playing poorly. We're ranked outside. Well, we are in the top 10 still, but just in 10th. But this performance has shown, yes, Mark Allen's not had the best day, but that's not my fault. We've shown we can still mix it with the big boys. And that's not the best shot, but it won't matter. It really won't matter. We'll try and pop this red, but if it doesn't go in, it doesn't matter. Looks fairly good, though. Doesn't look bad. It's there. Good shot. Well, we might as well try and... Uh, Clean up here. Can't quite get a sentry, unfortunately, I don't think. There's only 35 men on the table, but still. An 80-odd break wouldn't hurt. Good for the stats as well. Yeah, and we're just playing for well. fun now, knowing that we are through to the semi-final at the Daffabet Masters. If only we turned up in the ranking events like we do in these invitationals. I mean, we got to the final of the Shanghai Masters. We got to the semi-final of this tournament. Apart from that, Best we've got to is a quarter final all season. If we start turning up He's an expert in the ranking events, this then I don't think we'll have too much to worry about. What a magnificent pop but this is only one match. Yes, we played well against Maguire. Maguire didn't play well. You could also say here that uh, Mark Allen wasn't on his best form, but even so, we've had to beat him. Just the colours left. We've started to play the good pots. We still have to make the breaks. And that's something we're going to do, I think, in style here. It's a tricky one this last frame, but we've done it, I think, in terms of uh, cleaning up. I know we've won now. I, d I don't Less see much way yet. back. We've 20-odd remain and having a 90-odd lead. But this is really nice snooker. Brown, blue, pink and black. And we go to the semi-finals at the Alley Pally. I wonder who we're going to play against next. Hmm. We played against most of the big boys this year and lost on most of the occasions. So, boy, I mean, this is our best match of the year so far. Not the best positional. Actually, pretty good in the end. I'll take that. 79. But 79. Pink will make it 85. Black, of course, will make it a 92. Not quite a ton, but a good break. And with the black, we're going to just smash this. Why not? With a break of 92, we are through to the semi-final of the Daffabet Masters. We beat Mark Allen, a match that I was a little bit reluctant going into. I thought this could be the end, but we've done very well. And by four frames to two, we have beaten Mark Allen. Get in there. Great stuff. Absolutely fantastic. Albeit it took a week of playing, but <laughs> we did it. And that was actually, actually the highest break of the match. Great stuff. Mark Allen's out. And we progress to the final four. Just one match away now from the final. Who are we going to play in the semis? Who are we going to play in the semis? We might have to do it over two. No, okay. Judd Trump. We've already won 50k. Of course, getting to the semi-final. We're one match away from the final. And we're playing, well, the top of the ranking in real life. But second in game, and that is Judd Trump. Got a decent record against Judd Trump. We've uh, enjoyed playing him a few times, but it's going to be a big challenge. I mean, Mark Allen was third in the rankings, so that is uh, nothing to be scoffed at at all. And I would guess, I would say, whoever gets the final will be playing Mark Selby, because Mark Selby is in absolutely dominant form at the moment. So I would predict... We've had there being a tournament tree, of course. The other final is probably Selby against... Well, Mark Allen's out. I would guess it's Selby against Ivan Williams, Higgins or Ronnie. So it could be Ronnie in a final. I think Selby would beat Higgins and I think he'd probably beat Mark Williams the way things are going. But... Could be anyone's game. But we've still got to get to the final first. That is going to be a very interesting one. Another best of seven against Judd Trump and that will be out next week. Fingers crossed... 
um, before about Wednesday, but I'll have to see how I get on uh, with things, and we'll have to see how we go. But that was a cracking match. I think that deserves a like. A little bit of a longer episode for being the best of seven, but uh, another one coming up next week against the Judd and Ort, Judd Trump. Great stuff. If you enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below, comment your thoughts as well, and subscribe for regular Snooker 19 content. But apart from that, thank you very much for your company today, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye for now.